Hey, this is with FMO2 with the good review, which is Sonic Adventure because, well, yeah, a lot of my recent week or more has been Sonic Adventure. A lot of it has. Um, and I've been it, and I officially yesterday actually beat it for real. And unlike that as 2 review, which was basically mostly negative, actually probably all was negative, um, this is going to be a very positive review. Um, so basically, the game is really awesome. I enjoyed it. My first Sonic game I've ever actually beaten. I never properly played. I mean, I played some of Sonic Heroes on the de Xbox demo, I think. Or was it PS2 demo? I can't remember, but it was that long ago. But Sonic Adventure is definitely worth getting. It is. It has awesome feel to it. It has some elements that are similar to other games, but it, it, it's just done in such a great way. The speed I can control, which is shocking enough, because I thought I wouldn't be able to control it. Now there are six modes to play from um, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Big and Gamma, which is also classes E102, which seems like it's me. Or is it saying like I'm a robot? E is for evil, and then 102. But yeah, it's not very really me, but <laughs> his seven name is similar to me. So, in the last week, I like have, throughout different days, I've been beating each mode. Um, yesterday, I beat Gamma's mode and Supersonic. So, I'm basically going to go through each mode, my opinion on each mode, then probably pick a favourite mode, maybe like an easiest one and the hardest mode, or whatever, hardest boss, and then maybe give an overall review. So Sonic's mode is obviously first because he's the main character, as the name suggests. Um, Sonic's mode is the longest mode, has the most levels, um, probably has the hardest boss in the game, to my opinion. Everyone's to the room with that. So Sonic, I like Sonic, I mean he's fun to play as, and he is a lot easier than I thought he would be, I thought he would be a lot harder for some reason. But then again, that's me, because I'm not really a Sonic expert, I don't really know much about it. So I just expected him to be really uncontrollable, and but it turned out to be a lot easier than I thought. And it was really, really fun. I did enjoy his levels. They were a lot longer than most modes, because most modes you can probably beat in a, an hour or under. But Sonic's is maybe like two and a half hours, three hours, I think. Um, I'm doing a nice play of Sonic's mode right now. So you can see how I do it. Um, his mode's not too hard, really. The hardest mode in my not the hardest mode. The hardest level, to my opinion, is probably the Sky Deck. I don't know. I mean, I always found that a little bit hard when I first played through it. I think I like had a game over, which was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> I wasn't really used to how Sky Deck was. Um, so yeah, which. I'm going to be hating when I'm going to get to around to explain that level because that's probably my least favourite level of Sonic um, Sonic's mode. But Sonic's mode is fun. I really I did enjoy it when I first played it. I was actually very addicted to Sonic's mode. I went through it very quickly. And I would definitely say it's up there as one of my favourite modes in the game. Okay, now onto Tails mode. Now Tails mode is very quick compared to Sonic's mode. It mainly just consists of you racing Sonic, um, which usually only takes maybe like two or three minutes per each stage, and it seems a lot quicker than Sonic's stages. And I really, really did enjoy Tails. I, I like Tails. He's a funny character, um, and yeah, he's cute and he's just cool. And his mode is very simple and easy and enjoyable. Um, and his boss is, I don't know, it's a little bit tricky, but it's not anything impossible. I mean, you can beat it easily. Easily, I think I died like twice. So, hopefully my let's play around, when I get around to it, I'll probably manage it first time. Um, but it, it overall, it's a pretty fun mode, is Tails mode. You can probably beat it in about an hour. Okay, now Knuckles mode. And now Knuckles... I would say it's my least favourite. Now I know a lot of people might like Knuckles and I'm not saying he's I'm not saying I don't like him. I mean he's cool to move as and stuff, but I don't know, it's his stages are not the most exciting of things. I mean I'm not that interested in collecting random bits and bobs with it. 
I prefer just to go straight through the level and get to the end. But with Knuckles, you have to like to get to the end. You have to find three, whatever it is. I can't remember what it was, but three pieces of some emerald or something. Yeah. Um. At first, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I was just like looking around, lost and puzzled. And then when I got to about stage four, I started realizing that when the when it goes like a pink. Um, the screen thing, it means that you're right close to it and then I realise it's very easy because you can just find where the pink is and there boom. So it did actually, I did find it very easier once I figured out what I had to do. I mean, I, I mean I'm not saying it's bad, I mean it was fine, I mean I enjoyed it but it wasn't my favourite. But that's just my opinion. Um, okay, Amy's mode. Amy's mode was very quick, it was only consists of three stages. Um, and it was very easy to go through. There was one stage in the middle that was a bit longer, but apart from that, it was a very easy, quick um, mode to go through. I, I did enjoy it, but once again, it wasn't my favorite. It, it, it was very quick. I've got to say that. Okay, big. That means the next character, big the cat. Now his mode is completely different to everyone else's, as he fishes for for um, frogs or for frog, really. Um, and I'm not very good at f fishing. Now I've got to say it's f it's c it's great to move him. He's really funny to move. He's this cool character, but it's so different to everybody else that you play as. But I I've got to say the fishing thing, I'm not the best at. I've never been very good with fishing in games. Um, that Chronicle I was useless with it. And does it any fishing in anything else? I don't know. But I wasn't the best at it, but um, I did get through it eventually. It's pretty short when you think t think about it. It is a very quick mode. Um, okay, and finally Gamma, which I did yesterday. Um, I really, really actually like Gamma's mode. It was very simple. Basically, he just shoots things, and you can go through each stage just in just about two minutes. Like you can go through it. The first stage I went through in like about a minute and a half. It was so quick, I was like, wait, what? Is this end really the end? And it, the final boss with Gamma, I actually did first time. And it was it's supposed to be a hard boss. I mean, I've, I've read what read on game walkthroughs and things. Gamma's um, final boss is supposed to be hard. But I did it first time without losing a life. And I was pretty shocked with myself. I was like, yay! So I'd have to say Gamma is one of my favorite mo favorite modes because it's just it's one way I don't really die with because it's just so simple, but it's really fun as well. It's not just simple and boring; it's simple and fun. It's like the easiest to control because he's just basically moving and jump and hovering. Um, he's not really using speed as much, so he's very basic to control, which I like as well. Okay, so now we're going to pick an overall favourite uh, mode. I don't actually know. <laughs> um, I like Sonic a lot, I like Tails and Gamma, they're my favourite three. But to honestly pick a favourite, I'd have to go between Tails and G Gamma. But I really can't pick one. <laughs> I'd have to go between them two and maybe call it Tama or Gales or something. <laughs> I'd have to just... Like I have Two personal favorite modes, Tails and Gamma. They're in my eyes the easiest modes. Not the easiest, I don't know. Kind of easiest. Then again, there's Amy, which is pretty easy too. But um, yeah. So overall, the game I really enjoyed it. Um, the Supersonic. I actually found the boss quite annoying with the whole. When once you. Oops! I just killed a pen. Crap, that was not my... Oh, crap. Okay, that has nothing to do with anything. Um, I've got to stop touching pens. Um, okay, um, basically, Supersonic. It's not that it's hard to control, it's more about... I hate the fact that when you died, you have to just have a whole six again. I eventually did it, and I enjoyed it, but... It was kind of annoying and frustrating, boss. At the end, my opinion. 
But it was fun, I mean, it's fun versing it. It wasn't like it was so difficult. Um, it wasn't the hardest bottom of the game, to my opinion. But yeah, um, this is my overall review of Sonic Adventure. I really enjoyed the game, and it's definitely replay value. Um, it has awesome graphics to what it is. I mean, I'm not one for graphics. I just don't really care. If, but if it's completely a blurred game and it's like you can't see a thing, then I will get annoyed, but it's not. Um, so, yeah, I'll be looking forward to getting Sonic Adventure 2 when it comes out on PSN. Um, I think it's October. Um, thank you for anybody who told me to go to play it. Uh, no, what the hell am I talking about? Um, to play Sonic Adventure. Um, because, yeah, it was really awesome and really fun. It was definitely a great week. Um, I'm gonna miss miss it when I'm, I stop playing it because <laughs> I've just been playing it like every day. I mean, I've I've been playing it regularly, like just just playing it. But I've been playing it as a practice, and then I've been let's playing it as well. So I've been doing a lot of Sonic, Sonic Adventure um, this last week. My whole week's nearly been Sonic Adventure. So yeah, that's my review. So hope you enjoyed. I would give it a overall probably nine out of ten, or ninety percent out of a hundred. It was an awesome game. I did really enjoy it, and it would probably be maybe in my top ten games. I would say, yeah, I would say it goes in top ten, maybe number eight, nine, or seven. Could possibly number seven. I don't know what the top hundred anymore is, <laughs> but I'm gonna be doing another top one hundred next year, so we'll find out when it, where it is. But anyway, I'm gonna look forward to Sonic Adventure two. Um, if you want me to want me to play any other Sonic games. Um, please write in this same review. Let me know what you want me to do. Um, I will be less playing. I to complete blind let's play Sonic 06 sometime in the future. Um, yeah, people are gonna just be like hating that, but I don't even know the game myself. The only mo the all I've seen of the game is what Sean did in the Five Day Gamers 2, which was probably about an hour, and it didn't really seem that like much because a lot of it was just cutscene and crap. So yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching this review, it's going a bit too long now, once again, the game is awesome, 9 out of 10, I would recommend anyone who doesn't know what Sonic is to go and check it out, um, if you do know what Sonic is and you've got the game and you enjoy it, go and play it right now, screw any other plans you've got, just go and play it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I probably will, will be actually doing my let's play after this, after this review, so I will be doing some Sonic, yay, but anyway, Thank you for watching! Bye-bye.